Today's reading is titled, Nora. Nora was born in Ireland. She lived in a stone cabin with a wood-burning stove. There was no electricity and no plumbing. She had three sisters and a brother then. Her youngest brother would be born in America. Her father was a farmer who did not like farming. After an evening at the pub, he slept in the wagon while the horse took him home. His mother lived with them. She slept in a small room upstairs. Nora's mother loved her mother-in-law and brought tea to her room each morning. One morning, she took the tea upstairs and found the old woman had died quietly in the night. Thereafter, Nora would not brook mother-in-law jokes and made a point of it at family parties. Her father had a friend named Bernsey who immigrated to America. Bernsey was an outdoorsman who hiked the Grand Canyon and Yosemite. He settled in San Francisco and brought over his wife Kitty and sister Nellie. Nora's father sold the farm and followed his friend Bernsey. They sailed through the St. Lawrence Seaway, disembarked in Chicago, and caught a train to San Francisco. When Nora got older, she saw Rudy on his bicycle going to play tennis. She tried to get his attention. They married and moved to another part of the city. She visited her old neighborhood and talked to a man who knew her when she was little. What a shame, Nora, he said. You have lost your brogue. She loved the library and read thousands of books. His earliest memories were of going to the library with her, then back to her flat to play with toys on the carpet and watch television while she ironed. Later, when she recommended the American Way of Death and the Sandino Affair, he and others in the family read them. She also liked fiction and divided it into two genres, men's and women's. She was an excellent cook. Her roast and potatoes were a family favorite. She made dry fudge with walnuts that everyone loved. One year, she refused to clean any more fish. You catch them, you clean them, she said to her husband and anyone else who caught a fish. Sun played on the carpet with the old toys. The nativity scene glowed on an end table. There was candy in the Irish crystal. Tell him about us, she said to him. They enjoyed watching television together. She thought television was a miracle. She rode in the horse and cart, she mused, and saw men walk on the moon. What does he think happens to people when they die? The same thing I do, he said. Nice people like you go to heaven. People like me do time in purgatory. Poke me at the viewing, she said. Make sure I am gone. They stayed overnight and slept on the hide bed He read Sun a bedtime story, and she made them a hot water bottle. 
he drove her to the cemetery where she cleaned Rudy's headstone, planted a pinwheel, and said prayers. Look, there are no flowers in the old section, she said. She showed him the graves of her parents. Her sisters Rachel and Bridget died young and were there also. Her oldest daughter, Marianne, took her in when she became infirm and let her hair turn white. She passed quietly in the daughter's house a year later. She had been a widow for ten years. She was regarded as a Catholic saint by everyone who knew her.